Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and I'm just getting around to wrapping up my, uh, my complete synopsis on winter feeding. So what you're looking at here is a candy board that I made for my beehives. I overwintered three hives, and I made this candy board with a one quarter inch mesh here. Sorry, a half inch mesh here so the bees would get through it. I did about, uh, I started off with two pounds of sugar for each hive. I had three hives, two of which were quite strong, one of which was very weak. This is the sugar that's left over from the hive that was weak. And I thought that because the the weakest hive had the least stores, like my two strong hives had between 40 and 50 pounds of honey per box. This one had only about, uh, I'd say between 20 and 25 pounds of honey, if that, per box. And what happened with this hive is that um, a family of mice moved in the bottom box and I think that actually might have ended up saving these bees because all the bees moved all the resources up into the top box and lived in the top box while the mice lived in the second box. Now, I'm just going to do a quick synopsis of what I think happened in the winter here. Maybe it'll help you figure out how to feed your bees in the winter. So I decided to go with this, with this candy, basically making it with a mixture of sugar and water and a bit of vinegar. And I do have another video that shows you how to do that. This first initial ring that you see here below, that's the first feeding that I did for them, let's say in like November. Um, and the other hives, the two other, the two strong hives devoured it within a month. So within a month I checked on them and this one had barely just started to come up. Now this ring went right into the middle and there was just a little hole in the middle, about the same size as the hole in the inner cover for the bees to come up. And you can see how the bees came in through the middle and they just fed on the sugar. They made all these little canals for them to come up and this is what it looked like from underneath it's kind of neat you see that so the bees basically ate from the inside out and the other two hives completely ate the two pounds of, of sugar candy within a month and then at the one month mark I added about another pound and in this hive I added a second pound here you can see this kind of second rim on the outside this probably was sitting something like this, right? And they didn't eat it at all, right? Or they didn't eat half of the resources that I put out there. So what I found with the other two hives is that they, eat, they ate every single grain of sugar that I gave them, but they didn't touch any of their honey. So all they ate all winter long was this sugar. So I think it's a really good idea to feed this sugar candy to your bees because it meant that their stores were always there for an emergency and they did whatever they did with the sugar that you provided them, right? In the case of this hive, I think they just didn't eat as much sugar because there just weren't as many bees. But when I did finally check the box and got rid of the mice, reduced it from two deep boxes to one deep box, um, they still had their own nectar in there. So they did eat as much as they needed and they survived. So now the good thing about doing the candy board too is that now in the spring, although it's kind of summer, it's early June now, I'm just gonna take this sugar and uh, rework it back into sugar water and feed the bees with this sugar water. See, it's really neat how this turned out here. You do see the odd speck of just, uh, that's wood chips in this stuff because uh, I used wood chips as an insulator above this and some of them did get into the sugar, but no problem. I'll just melt this out. The wood chips will float. We'll skim them out and uh, we'll have another feed for my bees. So anyway, I hope you, I hope this makes sense to you. What I, my findings are, at least for my hives, is that the bees prefer to take the sugar before their own resources. So before their nectar and honey, they ate the sugar. And that means their, their food was always there for emergency backup if they needed it. Turned out they didn't need it. And, uh, and all these bees survived. So that's it. Just wanted to give you my sort of synopsis on how my winter feeding went and how it ends up turning into spring feeding if you do it right. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Thanks for joining me at 40 Honeybee.